Hello, my name is Xiao Tang. Today I'm going to present Grab AR, a cushion where grabbing virtual objects in AR. This work is completed with my colleague Xiao Wei Hu, my advisor Shi Wing Fu, and Professor Daniel Kohenor. To incorporate virtual objects into the real world and enable direct interactions with our hands, one main challenge comes out, handling the occlusion problem. Occlusion is a crucial visual cue, allowing us to rank the relative proximity among objects in views. We take the left video as an example. See the user remove the wooden block from the block tower. All virtual wooden blocks are rendered above user's hand, which makes the result very unrealistic. What we would like to achieve is that user sees his hand through AR device, grab a virtual object and use it. We can then predict the correct occlusion relationship between the hand and the virtual object and avoid hand object penetration. Here are some possible solutions. The first solution is using depth sensors, but commercial depth sensors are often inaccurate, which will lead to noisy ages. Occlusion aware depth prediction and densification can be accurate, but only support static scenes and the speed is slow. Hand shape estimation methods suffer from misalignment between the template hand model and the real hand. Besides, all these methods cannot solve the hand object penetration problem by their own. In summary, we want to use accurate image based methods to replace inaccurate depth sensors and utilize neural networks to avoid the hand object penetration problem. Here is a result of our approach. The palm is behind the virtual foam, and the thumb is above the virtual foam, with a possible occlusion. The virtual foam is composed into the real environment to make the user feel that he is actually grabbing and interacting with a real object. This is our pipeline. The system input is a real hand image and a virtual object image. The, these two images are composed together, and then we paint the virtual object to blue. Then, the real hand image and then the composed image are fed into our neural network. The network then generates the occlusion mask. With this mask, we can then compose our final result to show to the user. The input for our neural network, which is called GrabARNet, is a pair of images, an image of user's hand and an image that the blue mask overlapping the hand. And the output is an occlusion mask, which points out the occlusion relationship between the hand and the virtual object. Please refer to our paper for details of dataset collections. This is the structure of our Grab AR net. The network contains two parts. The first part is a hand segmentation part, and the second part is the occlusion prediction part. We designed two modules and three losses to improve the results. Please refer to our paper for further details. We set up a phototyping system with a webcam that captures user's hand, a Ruku marker to track user's pose, and a screen to show the AR views. Here is a comparison between our method and the depth sensor-based method. We can see that our method is much smoother at edges and successfully avoids the hand object penetration problem. Our method can also handle with the virtual object that is not included in the training dataset, which shows the generality of our method. Empowered by our phototyping system, we can design AR objects that are not only grabbable but also functional, like clickable or rotatable to further extend the design space of AR applications. For example, a virtual lightsaber, a virtual but zoomable loop, a virtual but shootable camera, a virtual but scrollable phone, A virtual but manipulatable walkie talkie. That's all for this talk. Thank you.